Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, December the 11th. It's the second week in Advent, and week two in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 25, and Matthew 22, verse 23 to 33. And now join me, please, in singing the first verse of Savior of the Nations, come. Savior of the nations, come. Virgin Son, make here your home. Marvel now both heaven and earth that the Lord chose such a birth. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. To you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. Psalm 25, and please recite it with me. To you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Do not let my enemies triumph over me. Let none that wait on you be disappointed, but only they which transgress without cause. Show me your ways, O Most High. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are my salvation, and on you I wait all the day. Remember your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, for they are everlasting. Forget the sins of my youth and my transgressions, in your love remember me, for your goodness' sake. You are good and upright. You show sinners the path. You guide the humble in judgment, and you teach the poor your way. And your paths are mercy and truth, to such as keep your covenant decrees. For your name's sake, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Those who fear you shall be taught the path they should choose. They shall dwell in happiness and their children shall inherit the earth. Your secret is with them that fear you, and they will see your covenant. My eyes are always on you. You pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have mercy, for I am desolate and afflicted. The anguish of my heart is increased. Bring me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my enemies, and how violently they hate me. Keep my soul and deliver me. Do not disappoint me, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I hope in you. Redeem Israel, O God, from all troubles. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. To you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 22, beginning at verse 23. The same day some Sadducees came to Jesus, saying, There is no resurrection. And they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies childless, his brother shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died childless, leaving the widow to his brother. The second did the same, and so also the third, down to the seventh. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection, then, whose wife of the seven will she be? For all of them had married her. And Jesus answered them, You are wrong, because you know neither the Scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is God not of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astounded at his teaching. Here ends the lesson.
Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. We turn to you, O God, and place our trust in you. Lead us along your paths and teach us your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.